Hey, it's Doug Perry, and I am a realtor with Property Consultants in Bucktown. And today on Logan Square and West Town Homes Live, I'm going to share with you a report. Yes, you can get a mortgage with a low credit score. The credit score to buy a house can be as low as 580. This report is brought to you by House Logic, which is made possible by realtors. But before we get into the report, I've got a freebie for you, so let me share it with you. It's called Market Snapshot. Yes, it is what its name implies. It provides a snapshot of real estate activity in any neighborhood in Chicagoland. So I've got a sample one here. How does it work? You get an email. There's a link. Click it. Bam. Takes you here. Uh, you get some overview information of the area. You can click and you can see how the information was compiled. You click the bullseye and the aerial map. Bam, there you go. You've got the uh, market snapshot. and You see the color-coded houses. They correspond to the colored buttons up above. New for sale, for sale, sold, pending, expired. And as you see, you can click buttons and filter what you see. You can also sort things in a variety of ways. Uh, most recent, uh, closest to target, highest to low, lowest to high, etc. And if you want to drill down into a house, all you have to do is click the icon, then you get all the pictures, and you also get detailed property information such as uh, flooring, room dimensions, if you have school age children, you get info on the schools nearby, and you know your home is more than just the four walls that you live within. It also consists of the shops and the restaurants and the organization, so if you click one of those links, you get access to information from Yelp where you can see menus and pictures and reviews and get the hours and the address and the phone number. So uh, it's an awesome tool. And guess what? The price is right. It's absolutely free of charge. So no reason not to get it. You can unsubscribe at any time. But guess what? You won't because it's awesome. So check it out. Click the link that's in the show notes. Now on to the report. Yes, you can get a mortgage with a low credit score. The credit score to buy a house can be as low as 580. So, you know, here we are at the end of the year, and maybe, you know, you're thinking about a New Year's resolution, you know, how you can make 2019 your best year you have ever. Stop renting. Go out and buy yourself a home. So, your credit might be less than stellar. There are ways to get into a home anyway. So, let's go ahead and take a look at it. <clears throat> so, a low credit score doesn't have to lock you out of home ownership. A mortgage will probably cost you more, both in dollars and angst, than someone with stellar credit, but many lenders are willing to work with you. Here's what you need to know about low credit score mortgages. What counts as low credit anyway? First, let's debunk the home buying myth that you have to have a gold-plated credit score to buy a house. Lenders review your whole financial picture. If you have a steady income, a regular payment history, and some cash in hand, that will help balance your less than perfect credit. Now, here's how FICO generally categorizes credit scores. 800 plus, that's excellent credit. 740 to 79, 799, very good credit. 670 to 739, good credit. 580 to 669, fair credit. And below 580 is considered poor credit. A credit score of 669 or below typically makes you a subprime borrower, according to FICO. That means you're a bigger risk, so loans will cost more and your options will be limited. Your primary low credit score mortgage option will be FHA, which sometimes gives loans with credit scores as low as 580. But the lower your score, the more it will cost you. Now, how does your credit score affect interest rates? You pay more, or you may pay more in the form of a larger down payment, a higher interest rate, private mortgage insurance, or points, which are fees attached to the loan. How much more interest might you pay? Let's say you're going for a $216,000 30-year fixed rate mortgage. Here's how your rate could change based on your score. Uh, FYI, the monthly payment estimate uh, includes only interest and your principal, not insurance and taxes. Uh, I'm reading from uh, a table here. If you click the link for the full article, you can see it up close and all the details. So if your FICO score is 760 to 850, your interest rate is going to be 4.14%. Your monthly payment will be $1,049. So if you're somewhere in the middle, let's say your uh, FICO score is 660 to 679, uh, your interest rate will be 4.54%. And 
your payment will be $1,127. So, you know, it's, it's almost $100 more. If uh, your credit score is 620 to 639, uh, then you're going to have the highest credit score. That's going to be 5.73%, and you'll pay $1,258 uh, more in your mortgage payment. So that's uh, more than $200 than somebody with top credit. So the question is, buy now or work on my credit? Well, that's a good question, and one only you can answer. If your rent is astronomical, it might be better to own sooner and refinance when your credit improves. For others, it may be smart to improve your credit first. A lender can help you decide, or you can use an online tool to estimate the cost of different scenarios. If you're going to apply for a low credit score mortgage, more cash in the form of a bigger down payment helps. Plus, it can reduce your interest rate, which reduces your monthly payment. My recommendation, according to Melissa Fennell, regional mortgage manager with the bank BB&T, her recommendation for any client would be to wait and save towards a bigger down payment. A lower loan-to-value ratio offsets a higher interest rate, and this gives clients time for their credit to rehabilitate too. So, how do I boost my credit score? If you opt to work on your credit before getting a mortgage, here are a few ways to do it. Look into rapid rescoring. You'll work through your lender to fix errors and update information with the credit bureaus quickly, sometimes within days or weeks rather than months. This isn't credit repair, but a way to accelerate getting updated information through the system and into your report. Discuss with your lender whether this is a worthwhile pursuit for your circumstances. Find a reputable credit counselor to guide you as the industry is fraught with scams. Start with the National Foundation for Credit Counseling and the Financial Counseling Association of America, each of which has local member agencies that adhere to credit counseling standards. Check your credit report for repairs. Pay off credit card balances. Pay off other outstanding collections. If you don't have credit, get a credit card or small loan and establish a good payment history. No credit is considered low credit. Even if you have a low credit score, a mortgage isn't out of reach. While it may cost you more to buy now, in the end, it may be less expensive than waiting. And you'll get the joy of owning a home to call your own. So, this article was written by Kelly Walters. Uh, she's a Southern writer and editor. She focuses on interior design and home improvement at outlets from HGTV to Paintson. She lives in Italy a month every year, drinking Negronis and writing in internet cafes. That sounds like a nice life. So, I hope you found value in that. Make 2019 your best year ever. And you need to start by signing up for Market Snapshot. Like I said at the beginning of the show, uh, its name implies what it does. It gives you a snapshot of real estate activity in any neighborhood. So the link you see on the screen, guess what? It's live over in the show notes. So go ahead, click it right now. If you have any questions about real estate, call me, Doug Perry, at 312-572-9801. Or you can email me at dperry at propertyconsultants.com. I look forward to speaking with you soon. I'd like to meet you even more.